struggling to get this right angle in the e. hold on a minute i think this should be good i have like here i'll show you guys my computer set up on my dash with like a ring light so it's a little better lighting because i'm in a parking lot hey guys welcome to my channel or welcome back and i'm so excited to film today's video I'm going to be talking about some good habits to having a healthy lifestyle. The things I'm going to like, um, I guess state is not complicated at all. And I think once you start it, it's really easy to get into the habit of being consistent with it. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. I hope you guys also, before I get started, like these car talk videos. I don't know, I always have so much free time before class, so I like to just film in here. I hope it's not too loud, and I hope you guys actually like the setting a little bit. Uh, just let me know what you guys think. For this, you guys have probably heard of most of these things, but I'm just going to explain them in a little bit more detail and kind of give you guys what my experience is with all these and what I do to help with um, living, living the healthier lifestyle. First habit is eating healthy. Now I feel like this one isn't obvious, but think about it for a second. Personally, I know that when I do not eat healthy, I am tired, I do not feel good, I kind of feel disgusting. And then whenever I eat healthy, which is six out of the seven days of the week, I am full of energy, I'm feeling confident, I'm feeling like myself, I feel like I'm ready to get more things done. Rather, when I eat unhealthy, I just feel like sitting all day and being lazy and watching TV and not really doing much for myself. I feel how you eat is such a mood changer. So that's why I think it's a really good habit to get into eating healthy because you'll just notice how much your mood changes and how much more energized you are to do like your daily things in life. Like if you eat a healthy breakfast, you're like, oh my God, now I wanna eat healthy for the rest of the day. Rather if you have like this big unhealthy breakfast and then you're like, well, since I already ate like crap for breakfast, I might as well just eat like this for the rest of the day. I will say I have always been in the habit of eating breakfast. I think it's just like a, something I learned from my family because growing up, my whole family ate breakfast. None of us would skip it. So it was just the norm for us to eat breakfast. I don't know how people don't eat breakfast because let me tell you, right when I wake up, I am starving. And I know not everyone is a morning eater, but trust me, I don't think it's very good to skip breakfast. You want that energy um, from the food to be used to energize your brain and the rest of your body. So that's why I think it is very important not to skip breakfast. Next, what I'm actually gonna do right now because I need to is drinking enough water. If I'm being honest, back when I was not my healthiest and I would eat like crap every day, I didn't realize how I barely drink water. I would maybe have like two 16 ounce bottles of water or maybe even 12, but I just didn't realize I was barely drinking any. You don't really realize until you think about it. I don't really calculate how much water I drink now but I drink about probably three to four liters. I don't know how much that equivalates to a gallon, but it is very, very important to make sure you're drinking water. You know, stay, I know you can drink like energy drinks and like diet sodas and stuff like that, but your priority should be water. I've seen, I'm not bashing anyone, but I've seen so many people, even in my family, that barely drink any water and is just drinking like soda all day, or tea and I'm like aren't you thirsty aren't you wanting some water but yeah people don't really take it into consideration until it's a problem yeah drink your water guys next move your body it is recommended for at least 30 minutes a day from anywhere from light to vigorous intensity um, but yeah just even moving your body just briskly walking for 30 minutes a day can help so much with your cardiovascular system and everything inside your body's already at a decrease of certain diseases and cancers and stuff like that. So it is very important to make sure you're having at least some physical activity every day. I just recommend doing whatever you are comfortable with and any form of physical activity is beneficial, whether that be walking, swimming, weightlifting, 
all of that it has the same benefits it's just everyone's goal is going to be specific so you're going to have specific outcomes whereas like if you're weight training your specific outcome is probably to put on muscle and if you're running every day your specific outcome is probably to have better cardiovascular endurance any physical activity is good it's just important that you're at least getting 30 minutes of any of that every day and you are good to go you already are improving your body just by doing 30 minutes next is sleep i know that this one's a tough one because everyone has their own things going on everyone's busy but sleep is so important i'm not even gonna lie I go to bed at around 7.30 and 8 o'clock p.m. every night and it's honestly just because I'm tired by then but I also wake up early and get my all my stuff I need to get done early in the morning. That's just how I work but you know it could be the other way around. You could go to bed late, wake up late the next day, just making sure you're at least getting a good seven hours of sleep. I am someone who cannot sleep with any noise. No TV, no one talking. This was a big problem for me last year in a dorm because everyone was playing music and running down the halls. So I usually just wore AirPods. I did not mess with my sleep. I was like, okay, if they're gonna be loud, I'm gonna put in my headphones, I'm gonna go to sleep because my headphones are noise canceling. Noise canceling, thank God. But yeah, make sure you guys are taking your sleep very seriously because your body needs sleep to function. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more point because I feel like I've talked enough and that is avoiding stress. I'm gonna tell you guys how I avoid stress, okay? And I'm gonna tell you how I do it in college. It's hard, but it's simple. And that is not procrastinating over anything. If I don't, I guess, turn my assignment in on time, that is just a big stressful thing for me. Everyone has stress in different ways. But for me personally, when it comes to school, like the thing that helps me best relieve my stress is just to get it done and that is it, period. If I get an assignment, whether it's due the next day or within the next two weeks, I do it the day it is assigned because I get really stressed out if I am behind. But I would just say don't procrastinate and just get your crap done right away. You'll feel so much better and then you'll realize that you won't have a ton of work like a big workload at once you can space it out nicely and then once you're finished with it you won't have to worry about it ever again now i'm not trying to say that you should avoid stress all the time some stress is actually good like when you exercise that stress is good um, sometimes it can help you be motivated to get things done like stress is not always bad so those are the good habits I wanted to state to have a healthy lifestyle. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I will be more than happy to answer them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to do something that makes you happy today, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!